In this video we shall discuss how to manage explicit transactions. In the first task we have to create a stored procedure that performs the following actions. First, it should add three subscriptions to each subscriber with random book, start date set as current date and end date set as current date plus one month. Then it should roll back all changes if in the resulting dataset any subscriber has more than 10 books. The expected result for this task is that the stored procedure performs all corresponding actions and then tells if changes are saved or discarded. The task itself may seem difficult, but the solution is simple. Let's start with MySQL. Inside the procedure first we shall start the transaction explicitly. Then we have to declare several variables and the most interesting here is the cursor to select all subscribers in our library. Then the main loop begins. Inside we have to check if any subscriber is left. If there are no subscribers left, that means that we've processed all subscribers, we have to leave the loop. Otherwise we have to declare the cursor to select three random books. Then for each of that books we have to perform the insert operation it has to create a subscription for a subscriber with a random book. Finally we have to check for that condition from the second point of the task. If that condition is violated we have to roll back the transaction and if that condition is met we have to commit the transaction and we have to print the debug messages. To check this procedure in MySQL first we have to execute the procedure and then we have to check the information inside this table and find out if it was changed or if it wasn't. In Microsoft SQL Server we are following the same approach. We are declaring several variables and the most interesting ones are these cursors to select all subscribers and to select three random books for each subscriber. Then we have to start the transaction explicitly. Then for each subscriber we have to insert three subscriptions with random books. And finally we have to check if this condition is violated. If it is, we have to roll back the transaction explicitly, otherwise we have to commit the transaction explicitly. To test the procedure in Microsoft SQL Server we have to execute the procedure and then we have to select all data from this table to see if the information was changed or if it wasn't changed. And of course for Oracle the idea is the same, we are declaring cursors to select all subscribers and to select three random books for each subscriber. Because in Oracle any data manipulation statement starts a new transaction, we previously have to commit any currently running transaction. Then for each subscriber we have to insert three subscriptions with random books. And finally we have to find out if this condition is violated or not. If it is violated we have to roll back the transaction explicitly and otherwise we have to commit the transaction explicitly. And to test this procedure in Oracle first we have to enable server output in order to see debug messages, then we have to execute the procedure and then we have to check data in this table. In the second task we have to create a stored procedure that performs the following actions. First it should change the end date to old date plus 3 months for all subscriptions. Then it should roll back all changes if in the resulting dataset average subscription length is more than 4 months. The expected result here is that the stored procedure performs all corresponding actions and then tells if changes are saved or discarded. The solution here is even simpler than in the previous task. Inside the procedure we have to start the transaction, then we have to update the data, then we have to calculate that average subscription length and if it's more than 4 months we have to roll back the transaction, otherwise we have to commit the transaction. And that's all. Finally to test the procedure in MySQL we just have to execute such a simple query. In Microsoft SQL Server we are following the same approach. We are starting the transaction, we are updating the data, we are calculating the average subscription length and then we are checking for this condition. If it is violated we have to roll back transaction, otherwise we have to commit transaction. But there is an attentiveness test for you. In this code there is some issue. Please pause the video and find that issue. And finally to test this procedure in Microsoft SQL Server we just have to execute such a simple query. For Oracle the idea is the same except for one difference. 
Remember that in this DBMS we cannot start a transaction explicitly, because any data changing operation starts a transaction. That's why we just have to commit any currently running transaction, then we have to update the data, and then we have to calculate the new average subscription's length. Then we have to check for this condition that comes from the task, and if that condition is violated, we have to roll back the transaction, otherwise we have to commit it. And of course, to test this procedure in Oracle, we just have to execute such a simple query.